bill triples the amount of testing and gives classroom teachers nothing but an unfunded mandate. Now, some of my colleagues have argued that they believe that some of the ARPA funds going to schools can cover this proposal. But like my colleague said earlier, those funds are not sustainable, and they're not distributed evenly to every school. Meanwhile, this mandate does apply equally to every single school. Now, I know many of you will vote for this bill and pat yourselves on the back thinking you have helped students read. But your unwillingness to provide every school the resources to execute these plans shows either a complete lack of understanding of the workings of real-world day-to-day classrooms or an attempt to score some political points at the expense of actually investing in and improving our kids' reading scores. Not being able to read is a death sentence. Not being able to understand, not be able to get a job, heck, not even be able to get a driver's license. Not being able to read in this day and age, not being able to participate. How do you get a job? The amount of money that we spend on education in this state is probably one of the highest out of all 50 states. What we're trying to talk about here is something that's successful. And taking a step back and saying, is there a better way to do it? Is there a better way to teach reading? Thank you.